Okay, so Carmen Rider Gav, Carmen Rider Gavu, episode one just premiered and I just got done watching it. And I thought I'd turn on the webcam, put the mic in front of my face, and ramble on for the next couple of minutes with however long this video is and talk about my thoughts on the series premiere of this brand new Carmen Rider series. Now, I haven't been following all the Carmen Rider Gav news and leaks here and there. I followed a couple of stuff here and there, but I didn't cover it extensively on the channel. Like when we had a couple of visuals here and there, I'd talk about them. I've talked about some stuff on Toku Tonic here and there, but I haven't like covered Gav a lot on the channel because Carmen Rider stuff, when I cover it on the channel, is up in the air when it comes to viewership because if you probably can't see because of the logo down here I'm more of a Power Rangers guy and kind of a Super Sentai guy if you don't know who I am I'm Ash also known as Deoxy360 and I mostly cover Power Rangers and the Power Ranger comics I'm known as the Power Rangers comics guy or comic book guy you could say so Carmen Rider is kind of I don't want to say it's unknown territory for me because I've been watching Carmen Rider weekly since Zero One. And during the lockdown and stuff like that, I went back and I watched older series of Carmen Rider. Like I watched a little bit of the original Carmen Rider. I've watched Gaim all the way through. I've watched Ryuki all the way through. I've watched X8 all the way through. And then the later Rewa stuff I've seen all the way through, like Zero One, Saber. Freaking Revice. I've watched all those series, and those series I really did enjoy. Geats as well, Geats as well. Now, Gotchard, Gotchard, I kind of fell off watching. I wasn't hooked on Gotchard like a lot of people, but judging from Toku Twitter, I don't know if a lot of other people were talking about Gotchard. If you liked it, you liked it. Thumbs up to you. But Gotchard, wasn't quite my style. I kind of reviewed the first four episodes. Uh, I just didn't have a lot of fun talking about it when it, was, when it was coming out each week, so I kind of dropped the series. Now, Carmen Rider Gav, I'm probably not going to be reviewing weekly. I'm probably going to find a new format for reviewing Carmen Rider Gav, and that might be in the form of shorts, making one-minute shorts, giving my thoughts and impressions on the episode, because, you know, shorts is where it's at these days, according to YouTube, I think. So, We'll see where we go with that. But this first episode of Carmen Rider Gab, I really did enjoy. I mean, it's setting up a mystery. Our main character is likable from what I've seen so far. And we have yet to see the villains. I feel like the villains are going to be the selling point for me because if you've got a cool hero, you're going to have cool villains as well. And I've seen some... Well, I didn't follow the press conference. I was told about what happened and what the characters' are, names are and what they're about and what they look like here and there. But from what I've seen, from what the villains look like on the press conference, they look pretty cool. But this first episode does have a lot of mystery, and I feel like that mystery pulls you in right away. But we first see our hero Shoma running away from this organization and they've got cloaks on, they've got these masks on, they've got these like futuristic laser tag pistols chasing after him and he runs through this door and then it leads into this like labyrinth of other doors and stairs and stuff like that and then he falls through this blue door and this blue door leads him into earth and Shoma has this very interesting line saying, oh, this looks like the place that my mother was from, or my mother told me about that she was from. I'll probably have the quote up online. But this indicates that, now if I remember correctly, like our main writer is an alien, and with a line like that, that means he's half alien, so his mother was human and his father was alien. Possibly. I'm not sure. But his mother is going to be an extensive plot for this character's motivation because throughout the episode we do have these flashbacks where we see her getting wrapped around by this big tongue and it looks like she was eaten by something, probably the main enemies, probably like the main bad guys. So uh, Shoma's motivation is to get stronger so he can protect people. So he's got that Ichigo Kurosaki motivation that he wants to get stronger to protect people because he feels bad and feels guilty that he wasn't able to protect his mother. So Shoma falls through the sky. He meets this kid called Hajime who's collecting she shells and he meets up with this kid. The kid takes him back to his secret base. 
But I feel like one of the other things that pulls you in for Shoma right away when we first meet him and his interaction with Hajime is there's this scene where Hajime is crossing the road and this truck comes along and without a second doubt, Shoma throws himself in front of the truck. The truck gets messed up and we get this funny comedic scene where the two drivers are falling through the front window and they're sort of doing this screen pause or this like pause grab of them sort of reacting in real time with how fast it happens. But Shoma is able to save the kid, but not only that, he's also able to save the drivers within record time. So this kind of paints the picture that Shoma is wanting to be a hero so he can protect people. And Shoma's driver. So the Gav driver, it's okay. I like it. I'm probably not going to buy it just yet, but the gimmicks I do like with the little candy treats. But what I really also do like about it, which is different from, now like I said, I haven't seen a lot of Kamen Rider series before, but what I like about it is that it sort of like attached itself to him and the belt is sort of a part of his like body structure, you could say, because you see other villains who sort of have the same motif going on I guess they're from the same race where they have the belts on them they can eat things so that's pretty cool now in the episode we're also introduced to Kirikata I think I'm pronouncing that correctly um and from what I know of they're going to be the secondary writer from following most of like the press conference and the news that's been dropping around on my twitter feed here and there but they are this investigative detective and it looks like they're solving this murder mystery because we meet this woman called Shirabe and it looks like that her husband went missing and I do like how they frame it in the episode where they think it's a monster but then you've got the mentor detective saying hey she could have killed him and then hid the body somewhere we don't know entirely so that's that's the murder mystery we've got going on, but it looks like these monsters of the week, these villains, they are eating humans, they are kidnapping humans, and people are going missing. So we've got that going on. Now, in the episode, we do have our writer debut with Shoma turning into Kamen Rider Gab, and the Kamen Rider Gab suit, I like it, and seeing it in motion, I think I like it a little bit more because... With the colors it's got going for it, especially the gummy form, which is going to be the main form, it's got this translucent color. And throughout the first episode, we see it shown off. And one of the cool things I did like within this first episode is that when Shoma is fighting the monster of the week as Kamen Rider Gab, the monster's like throwing all these punches and stuff like that. And the armor is sort of like coming off, like he's getting punched here. And like the armor is sort of like, getting knocked around because it's jello so it's not that durable like they'll have scenes where it sort of bounces off them because you know it's jello so it's going to bounce back but then when the monster's just going and swinging or like showman's like doing kicks and stuff like that with like the shin pads of the suit you have the jello parts sort of flying off so he's got to sort of like put the um gummy back in there to make more armor come back and regenerate which i think is pretty freaking cool i did like that touch to it so we also see the bike in this episode. Uh, we see the um, four-wheeler bike, and we get the CGI chase scene, which took me a little bit out of it. I mean, Kamen Rider is getting slightly better and better with its CG. I feel like this came right out of a video game with how some of it was animated, to be honest. But, hey, it is what it is. But Yashoma's able to defeat the Monster of the Week, and the little kid Hajime is uh, back home with his mother. But... Shoma does say he's going to try keeping his identity secret because, you know, he can't have people discovering that he's an alien or that he's not from here. And then the episode ends with him sort of passed out. We get a little bit of a time skip, which is kind of funny. Like, there's a scene where he's passed out and he's discovered by this girl, which is probably going to be the uh, friend companion moving forward. Because, like I said, I've been following the scans and the leaks and the um, rumors and stuff like that too much but she's probably going to be the female companion that's going to follow him around so overall Carmen Rider Gab episode one was a pretty decent premiere it wasn't no Carmen Rider Gates premiere where Carmen Rider Gates had everyone talking and everyone foaming at the mouth this was a pretty chill premiere and I kind of enjoyed what we saw so far I'm hoping that it consistently stays like this, like it's got that vibe and that 
funness to it, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I probably won't be reviewing this week to week in this video format. I might make it in shorts, possibly. I'm not entirely sure, because like I said, uh, Carmen Rider videos don't do the best on the channel. So this episode would be me giving my first impressions on episode one of Carmen Rider Gab. But overall, I enjoyed this first episode of Carmen Rider Gab. Um, if I don't keep up with it weekly, then I'll probably start watching it in bulk. And I feel like that's when I really enjoy Carmen Rider to its best, when I binge watch it. Like, that's why I freaking fell in love with Revice when I watched those first, like, 16 episodes back to back. And even if you watch those first 16 episodes of Geats back to back, they're really freaking awesome. But overall, Carmen Rider Gab, I really enjoyed the first episode from what we've seen so far. I like the suit. The action scenes were pretty cool. The main character seems very likable from what we've seen. Uh, we have more to learn about the villains, more to learn about the secondary writer, and the world building seems really interesting as we've got this mystery going on with our characters and the world around it. So something's going on and I want to explore more of that as we keep watching. So hopefully I don't get let down. Hopefully I don't get let down. But if you want to hear me talk about more, you can definitely tune into Toku Tonic, where I'll be talking about it with Zia Agato, a nerd named Mark, and Cloudy. So definitely check out that if you want to hear me talk about it on this upcoming Friday. So with that said, I will catch you guys later. Peace out, take care, and bye.